Hi, I'm Dr. Elijah McCammon. And I'm Katie Gimbar. And I just have a couple questions for Katie. Uh, so we, we've heard from a number of different teachers uh, over the past year and a half that you know, students are not good at working in groups. Uh, they struggle with it. It's, it's too hard to do it. Uh, so what, what do you say to that? And I would say you're absolutely right. <laughs> um, honestly, I think that's because really throughout um, students' educational career, we don't really take the time to develop their skills. We don't show them what real group work looks like. Uh, just because we put them in pairs or groups of four does not mean we're teaching them how to actually break down an assignment and work well with other people in their group. And so unfortunately, most of the teachers that I've worked with are middle and high school teachers. And when the kids get to us, we're like, they can't work in groups and it's a nightmare you know to really manage them and I would say yes of course it is because they've never been taught those skills and it's going to be our job to really take the time to teach them those skills and prepare them for the real world okay so you talked about the idea of time and it, it, so it is a it's, it's very difficult to get kids to do good group work um, so is time the issue hands down yes um, I would say most teachers um, would say that we have a pacing guide that we have to get through. We have all this content that we have to make sure we hit before you know, our formative assessments get out, before you know, EOGs or whatever it may be come up. And fighting that battle against teaching content and having to teach these 21st century skills that we hear so much about, content wins out because you know, we're held accountable by our test scores and, and parents are constantly asking us about how we're going to improve those. So, unfortunately, what suffers a lot of times is the development of those interpersonal skills that we really need to be teaching kids. And so, is, as a flipped classroom teacher, is, is the flipped classroom at least in part a solution to this? And if so, why? For me, it was the hands down the only solution. Um, it took time, or it gave you time back in your classroom. So, I removed the lecture portion. They were getting content more outside of class. So, that when they came into class, I had to spend you know, time making activities and things for them to go through and do, and a lot of that revolves around working collaboratively. So the first thing I realized was they can't work collaboratively. So I then had to start from doing things to teach them how to do that, giving them leadership roles to, to use within their groups, giving them a set time constraint with what they were supposed to have done and accomplished, and then going over and having conversation with them about meeting those goals and talking about how each person worked within their role. And it started to develop these relationships between the kids learning to work together, learning that they were going to be assessed on that skill as well as the content. And it's really helped to, you know, for them to see how they have to work together to get a goal accomplished. And that's far more important than the content will be when they get into the real world. That's interesting too because I remember, I think back to middle school and I remember uh, basically no content from middle school. <laughs> I just don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't even know what classes I took, but I remember the relationships. I remember the group work, I remember those social skills that I was building, and I agree that it seems like the flipped classroom uh, offers an incredible opportunity for teachers to spend time building on, upon that, that which really matters, which the content matters, but it's not the lasting part, it's the relationships that, that matter. That's, that's fascinating. So please uh, stay, stay tuned and stay in touch uh, for our flipped classroom training program, uh, spring and summer and fall offerings. Uh, so, you want to finish? Say something? Well, we'll see you guys soon, and hopefully, um, some of you will sign up for our upcoming cohort sessions.